Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Monday the 29th, and today was another gorgeous day, absolutely beautiful. Um, kind of the reason why you live in Iowa, I guess, is for these few of these weeks that we have this kind of beautiful weather. And that, and you're just too lazy to move somewhere else, I guess, is a big reason why I still live here in Iowa. So, anyway, um, got it today, got a handful of things done. Um, shoulders a little bit sore from kayaking for four hours yesterday. Um, and loading the kayaks up and down with the car and that kind of thing. It's amazing how much different muscles you use when you're doing a activity you don't usually do. So that was kind of interesting. It's kind of the different, you know, tenderness of that. I've decided I need to build a, um, like, I guess, harness for the kayaks and stuff to kind of help make them a little bit more secure on top of the car and a little easier to put on and off and go from that. I haven't got that done yet, but I have decided I'm going to do that, so that's going to be interesting. Um, I also got a few things around the house done here, nothing really major. Um, caught up on some laundry and some dishes, and that's the regular general crap you got to get done. Headed out to the rental house, uh, kind of did a little bit of stuff over there, nothing really major. Ended up um, going out for my run today, got that taken care of. Had to go do some errands and stuff for some people on that. Um, took care of the thing, had to hit the bank, all that kind of weird random junk there too. And then from there, um, got done with my run, headed back here to the house, and decided to go ahead and do some more yard work in that. Ended up planting a couple more trees, digging some stuff out. I had a um, Japanese maple that was struck by lightning at a... Um, greenhouse before I bought it and it kind of turned into like a bonsai type tree and instead of being like 150 bucks they normally sell it for they sold it to me for like five dollars I think and that would have been oh crap 10 15 years ago is forever ago I planted it I kind of sunk it down the ground being tall it's supposed to be a fairly tall tree expected to grow up I kind of sunk it in so it's easier to mow around um, easier to mulch around all that kind of stuff and the tree never grew like it just turned into the stupid ugly little bush that never grew up and I just I got so tired of looking at it and it's hard to mow around because it never grew high enough to mow underneath and trying to lift it up all the time to mow around it and it's just, I don't know, I never was a fan of it. It kind of bugged the crap out of me. So I dug it out um, best I could. I got the root ball thing. I'm like, screw it. I was going to try and save the tree. I realized, why am I saving a tree? I was going to turn it into like a um, giant bonsai tree like in a pot somewhere. Decided it wasn't worth it. Backed the van up, threw the toe strap around it and just yanked the damn thing out was so happy to get rid of it and the roots were actually really strong it had a really good strong root base all that kind of stuff just i think the lightning had changed metabolism of the tree or something because it never just the leaves were really tiny thin like splits and stuff it's just it was everything kind of odd about it and had it grown even four or five six feet tall i would have been happy with it forever but i was tired of looking at like a literally a foot and a half tall tree that was just driving me crazy so glad to see it gone um put a shade tree in there instead um on a flowering cherry blossom tree i think like that i don't remember what i put in there i put i got like four different trees put that in put in some other trees down the south side of the house and that to get the summer heat off the house that's the main goal with it um i've got like a weird drop off by towards my creek there so i'm kind of planting on that hillside and i'm hoping to backfill that eventually but who knows? I do have some ornamental grasses I was going to plant at the end of the um, one the rental house driveway. Then I realized the fact that when you back out that drive, that grass is six to eight foot tall, which it'll get. You won't be able to see down the road back on that drive. So I realized that's really not going to work. So now I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with those grasses now because that was my full intent. They needed full sun. They would have got that there. Uh, I don't really have anywhere else that I'm going to be able to get full sun with them. So I might end up giving those away or something. I'm not really sure. Um, I bought them, like I said, I had full intention of putting them there until I realized, dummy, they're going to get way too tall to be able to see the guy you drive, which the, this road here is super not busy, so you could probably just back out and just risk nobody's coming, but the one time you do that and there is somebody coming, and even a wreck, it will not be worth it. So I'll have to see what I'm going to do with that. I thought about making that um, little planted spot in the corner a little bigger and kind of planting them back farther off the side, but... I don't know if I want to do that either, so I got to figure it out. Um, who knows? I'll probably just go set them around the yard, see where I like the looks of them, and go from there. So that's pretty much the whole day. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.